Hello people, greetings and salutations. Welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? So, um, I've seen you guys in a while. Um, I know, I know I know I haven't done a video in quite a while, maybe a month, maybe two, I don't really know, honestly. Um, well, a couple of reasons for that, actually. Well, reason number one, I haven't, um, had anything to review, honestly. Um, um, and two, I haven't been quite in the mood to record, so those two things th th combined, you know, their videos. So sorry about that, guys. Um, but today I got I got I got a I got a, a cool a cool some some cool some cool sauces sauces to show you, to show you guys. A couple of R R and D sauces from Uncle Bullcow. Uncle Bullcow was nice enough to send them to me to review. Uncle Bullcow, if you're, Bullcow, if you're watching this, dude, thank you very much. I know the I know the group. I know the group. <laughs> Sorry, I know they're gonna be amazing, like as your sauces always are. Um, and a little thing towards the end of the video, video just, just, just for fun. Um, now these, these 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 sauces aren't yet released to the public, so this is gonna, gonna be cool because I think I'm one of the first first people, first, first people, first people, people to have these. Um, <clears throat> we got a, a masala, we got a tikka, we got a tikka masala sauce and a taco sauce. Now, I think I might do the taco sauce first, actually, because I love a good taco sauce. No, I don't. I'm gonna like a okay, ingredient list for this thing or anything. Just, I'll just go off what I think based on what I think of the sauce is based off the flavor and so on and so forth. <clears throat> first sauce is taco loco. Now, myself, I love a good taco sauce. It's hard to find a taco sauce these days. Well, I can buy the, the trash in the stores, but that's just all this trash. But, but, um, so to find an actual good homemade hot sauce like this, is going to probably will be. It excites me a little bit. Dang. That's fast. Um, so they're a good guy. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a thicker sauce, which I appreciate. Um, pretty, like, Bourbon type of color, burgundy or like a like a leather kind of color. It's really pretty, like a nice deep brown or red. <clears throat> Ooh, that smells really good. It smells sweet, smoke smoky. That nice cumin flit, that nice cumin smell. I give a sweetness in there. That smells good. Ooh, shouts out, guys. Do this. Got the sauce. There. Really pretty sauce. Has a nice um, has a chunk to it. Bit of a sheen to it. Looks, looks good. Cheers, guys. Mm. Wow, that was good. Look, um, kitchen, kitchen, also. First, I hit this. This is smoky. I did this is sweet. Has a nice like, chunk, like chunkiness to it. Has a nice chew to it. I think I'm tasting herbal chilies and herbal chilies. Garlic, maybe. Yeah, garlic is in there. Yeah, that's, that's garlic. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's so good. This taco loco is an amazing sauce. Um, what do I use this on? Of course, tacos. Taco sauce. I put it on Frito pie. I put it on chicken, like chicken legs, red meats. Um, some red meats at least. Um, I, I put I, I put this on this on a roast. Smell over it. Smell all the roast, bake it for a few hours, be good to go. Maybe even fish, possibly. I, that's that's really good. For heat, 
I get a bit of throat burn, bit of tongue burn going. Saw three. Yeah, saw three. That's really good. And this, this, this reminds, reminds me of. I'll, I'll take you guys back to my childhood. Um, <clears throat> when I was a kid back in the 70s and 80s, I lived, I lived in a small, very small town. And um, in the small towns, you find small Mexican, Mexican restaurants. And they always have these good, um, homemade, delicious taco sauces that was like the. It's like genuine, genuine like taco, ta genuine Mexican taco hot sauces, right? This that, that, that reminds me of that genuine homemade, just straight up delicious hot sauce that made by someone who knows, who knows what the hell they're doing. That's really good. Yeah. <clears throat> good take care. Now, now it's time for do do do. Mad Masala. Of course, me, ma, ma, Mad Masala meaning it's a, take a it's a masala based it's a masala based hot it's a sauce hot sauce it is a masala. Now my favorite hot my favorite my favorite my favorite kind of curry is tikka masala. So I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this one. This is a, has a nice pretty like almost pineapple golden color to it. <clears throat> Thinner texture. Um, I love the color of that. It's like a gold copper. You don't see that much much in house houses, really. Ooh, it smells lemony. It smells like a lemony, like a, like, a, like a really lemony. Um, that could be, um, there's a certain spice they use in curries. Um, I don't know what it's called. But it smells like it's lemony. Has a limit, has a lemony, smoky, masala type, 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 type flavor. Like a yellow curry. Oh, I'm sorry, I may hate to an extent. Let's get this. Mr. Cap, Mr. Cap, Mr. Cap, going. That's, that's a much thinner sauce. I've got to watch this. I'm trying to be very careful. She got the sauce. Look at that. That's pretty. Cheers, guys. Ooh. That is glorious. That's really good. First thing I get is like a lemony citrus type, like citrus, citrus, citrus type of flavor, bitter earthiness, a slight pepper kick. Yeah, that's that is that. This is amazing sauce. Um, dude, I need more ice for that. Wow, Uncle Boko. Dude, that's a winner, man. Most definitely, that's a winner. That's real good. What is this in? I put over rice, seafood, pork. Um, I use it on, on, on eggs, actually, as well as this. Get on, on, on eggs, too. Um, I'd use it. If you got like a, say a chicken wrap, do chicken wrap all day. Um, I put in ramen. Yeah, this is, it tastes very, very, it tastes very multi-use, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's quality sauce. For heat, I'm not sure if it's the heat, I'm sure, I'm sure if it's the heat building from the other sauce, but I would guess this to be about a, maybe a four? Yeah, let's go with a four. That is really, that is really good sauce. When um when and or if Uncle Bull Cow puts this into like full production, guys, you need to check these the the um Mad Masala, the Taco Loco. If, if you get a chance, when when they release, when in, when in, if they release, check them out. Some they're they're good. Now, one last thing before I let you guys go. 
Well, that was <clears throat> what I wanted to do was a was a was a pepper gusher or a pod gusher. Now I've never done one before. Here I got this pod Uncle Book House sent me. So, I'm sure it is really, but pretty looking. Um, I gutted it. I don't know if you're supposed to gut gut them when you do the gusher because the because the um person is in the way. I don't know. So I gutted it. It's, it's more sauce in there. If you if, if you're out there and you've done pod gushers, do you gut out the placenta? I don't know. Um, let's use the masala sauce because you know they kind, of, they kind of match. Um, if you know if you if you don't know, don't know what, what pod gusher is, you put a hot sauce or tincture inside a pod and you and you, you need it. So I'm gonna show what this pod this is, but let's fill it bad boy up. Ooh, that's full. See that? I'm not sure what this is, but that was good. What's guys? Cheers. Ooh. Good cup. Um, so, man, my solid in that random pod, I don't know what, what it was. Oh, by the way, that, the, the pod was sent to me, sent to me, my bunko bokal. He sells pods, check them out. Um, I'll put, I'll put a link down below to his, um, to his site, to his Facebook. He might, hit him up, get, 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 get him up, 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 um, um, get some, get some pods. Slight throat burn, throat burn, it's like tongue burn. It's kind of sweet, actually. A bit earthy, but no floral. But no, but no, no floral though. Yeah, floral. Yeah, it's good. Well, that's it for 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 for, for today, guys. <coughs> um, ooh, can can upload. Um, by the, by the, the heat on that, on the, on the gusher was a four. Um, so for today, guys, check out Bokeh, check out Uncle Bokeh sauces. I think again, um, Uncle Bokeh for the, for the chance to, to, to preview these sauces. They're both, they're both phenomenal. Um, I, um, whew. okay, it's kicking kick a little bit. So for, for, for today, guys, love you all, be good, be good, have a glorious day, and bye-bye.